Islamic Circle of North America was founded in September 1968. This is a, one of the largest national Muslim organization at this time. From day one, they were doing, they were involved in uh, outreach to the to the society. They were involved in the character building of the individual. They were involved in the organi organizing those who accepted that outreach program. In 2009, we established the ICNA Council for Social Justice. ICNA has understood from the very start that social justice is a part of our da'wah. It's a part of our presence that if Muslims are not committing themselves to social justice, then they're not living to the fullness of their identity. And as ICNA has always been at the forefront of so many of these efforts, now the ICNA Council for Social Justice is formalizing a lot of that, taking on specific causes of social justice and channeling not just members of ICNA, but leading the way for other organizations and other members of the community to come forth, inshallah ta'ala, and to take on causes that are so essential, not just for Muslims in America, but for all people here in this country. So we established seven focus areas very quickly. We established that this racism issue, the unjust immigration policies, poverty and hunger and income inequality, family destruction, global justice, Islamophobia, and injustice to indigenous people. From the very beginning, we were very clear that this project and this department is not uh, going to be uh, only for Muslims, but we are going to touch upon the social justice issues that are affecting larger society, uh, other communities, you know, wherever there is an issue of justice. We are not only worried about issues that concern us, we are worried about issues that concern people of color, people of minorities, uh, people who are struggling to, to get their immigration issues resolved. I joined the ICNA Council for Social Justice because I wanted to not sit behind a desk for the rest of my life, you know. I wanted to do something that brings some sort of a positive, uh, some, a, where somehow I can give a positive uh, feedback to society. I can bring it back in a good way. Social justice is about getting to the root of the problem. That's how you really fix it. So the classic example is, that feeding the homeless will not eradicate homelessness. You know, um, you know when you give that homeless person a, a bag of food or some cash, you have immediate gratification that you've done something good, which is fine. But social justice, how, how do you eradicate homelessness completely from society? That takes, that's, not, that's not an immediate gratification that people will have. So right now, ICNA Council for Social Justice has about 15, uh, uh, 15 chapters around the country where we have volunteers and leads who are leading ICNA CSJ efforts in those areas. The Muslim community in the United States has played a very interesting role, to say the least, in the issues of social justice in this country. It's not to say that the Muslims have not been involved individually, but the Council for Social Justice is an attempt to bring an organized effort to this arena. So from the very beginning, um, this was one of the things that, that we wanted to do, to engage and partner with other faith organizations. ICNA is uh, a faith organization, and uh, our strength comes from working with other faith communities. The ICNA Council for Social Justice was one of the first uh, people that joined with the CCF when we incorporated in 2010. And they've been more than just a member of the board. They have been a genuine partner with us in dealing with the kind of issues that come from preemptive prosecution. The Muslim Prisoner Support Project of CSJ is one of the newest adventures, or not adventures, but one of the newest ventures uh, that the council has taken on. And this Muslim Prisoner Support Project is an attempt to help Muslim uh, inmates uh, pre-trial as well as pro post trial. What they're essentially doing is locking up people uh, on the theory that they might commit a crime in the future. And this is simply unacceptable. Uh, it should never happen. It happens at times of crisis in the United States when uh, we try to, when the government tries to deal with uh, overreaction and panic and, and fear about what might happen. But it corrupts the justice system. These are innocent people. They have not committed any crime, and some of them are in jail for life. All forms of injustice are unacceptable, and all forms of injustice have one root. So we see this partnership very important, and uh, I can tell you that we've, 
worked with uh, ICNAS CSJ uh, in relation to uh, the just cause of Muslims in, in Myanmar, the Rohingya Muslims, as we worked with them uh, in relation to Palestine uh, and when we organized other rallies, whether in, in relation to Jerusalem or other, other uh, causes of, uh, of Palestine. What you do is very important because injustice in the U.S is also one of the sources of injustice in Palestine. Palestine is not only um, a foreign issue for us, it's a domestic issue. The dynamics here in the country contribute to the injustice and to the oppression that is taking in Palestine. Without having this voice, this vehicle that your organization uh, gives, you know, uh, gives that, uh, provides that tool uh, to all of us, we will not have this justice. So we need your partnership, and we think this is very important for, for all of us. So since 2015, Helping Hand, HHRD has had this Youth for Jordan trip where we go overseas in Jordan, several cities, and uh, spend time with the refugees, Syrian and Palestinian predominantly. And so we see the situation. We've had orphans or disabled children or even refugees from these areas, you know, Palestinian refugees, who now, fast forward 2019, are now here in the U.S. attending colleges and universities. Especially when it comes to the Council for Social Justice with ICNA, uh, we are able to advocate with policy changes, but Helping Hand is also able to provide aid and relief and development for the people that need it as well. House Resolution 869 was one of the most landmark pieces of legislation introduced in Congress for Muslims in a very, very long time. Um, what it did is essentially it recognized the contributions and the meaningful impact that Muslims have had in American society forever since America's founding. It went from people that were abolitionists to even modern figures such as Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali that have led the cause for civil rights. And the reason why it was so important is because it's the first time that Muslims were given a sense of positive voice in the representation and it actually acknowledged that Muslims aren't only terrorists in the political narrative that we see but that they have contributed to American society and for a very long time, and even up until now, they are the foundation of American society. ICNA Council for Social Justice has launched uh, an anti-bullying campaign where we train Muslim kids on bullying because after a lot of stories were coming out of Muslim kids being uh, picked on in school, uh, Muslim women having their hijabs basically pulled at, and, um, and also Muslim brown kids being called terrorists in class. So we had a lot of complaints from parents and uh, they wanted to, you know, ICNA CSJ to some, somehow take some part in it. So we created a whole campaign around it where we uh, went and we spoke with researchers and professionals who, uh, who do bullying research and we put together a workshop. So now we provide it around the country for free and we're hoping to uh, basically go to every Islamic school and uh, Sunday school uh, and reach all of the Muslim communities around the country. And eventually we want to go into non-Muslim communities as well and present the information because it's all research-based. My experience with Ignacio Shea was really informative, like in a sense that I learned so much from here and it was so hands-on yet independent, which was very um, helpful for a, for a college student who's Muslim, who's a woman, you know, for us to get more involved. Uh, we were very independent. We were given things that, you know, we were allowed to work on. And, uh, you know, uh, we just needed to inform uh, rather than, you know, ask. And which was very, uh, very, uh, very nice. National Muslim Advocacy Day it is being organized under the, under the uh, U.S. Council for Muslim Organization, USCMO. And in USCMO, all major national Muslim organization part of that. So ICNA, Islamic Circle of North America is part of that. And on behalf of ICNA, ICNA Council for Social Justice facilitate all those participation in that National Muslim Advocacy Day. ICNA Council for Social Justice that plays a crucial role in providing the logistics, the accommodation and so many other um, services to this amazing large contingent that is growing so fast every year and bringing the voices of the community to their elected reps in the House and in the Senate. I encourage you to support the ICNA Council for Social Justice inshallah ta'ala help it develop, help it become a shining wing of ICNA. The ICNA Council for Social Justice is very important and needs support from everybody. As long as the Muslim community is defensive and afraid to raise their voice for what is wrong in society, for the discrimination that goes on and for things like that, it will continue. 
I think it's very important for people to get involved with Muslim advocacy and social justice as a whole. There are very few groups that take the opportunity to represent Muslims politically. And Ignis USJ is one of the few groups that is leading this um, movement. And find an outlet for them, whether it's writing articles and publications, spreading knowledge, attending protests, or even lobbying, it allows you to have that voice, and not just for you, but for your community as a whole, and to bridge those gaps in our current political climate. ICNAS CSJ is embodying the right thing, uh, is embodying the essence of our religion, embodying our decency as human beings. Standing for justice is the right thing. I would recommend uh, every student, whoever is pursuing or, or is interested, or even is, you know, who, who is a person who's involved in politics or wants to be involved in politics to definitely take this internship. Everybody should get involved in Ignacia Shea's uh, work is because it revolves around everything, really it does, uh, with advocating for human rights, labor rights, you know, uh, with social justice rights. The youth should get involved with the ICNIC Council for Social Justice because it's very important uh, for our future generations. It affects us now, it affects us in the future, and I think that if we don't take a step towards the right direction, we're going to be stagnant. So the question about why should Muslims get involved, the my question is why not Muslims should not be involved in this process? Because, you know, th this, this, uh, this is from a commandment of God Almighty in the Quran that, you know, if you see injustice of any kind, you stand against that injustice. It doesn't matter who the person is. It is the um, saying of the Prophet also that we should uh, help the oppressor and the oppressed. We help the oppressor uh, because we stop him from oppressing the people. And so we need to stand up in this land uh, to help the people who need our help and stand for the social justice in this country and all around the world. This past winter, 2018, we had the opportunity to go to El Paso, Texas and assist the asylum seekers and translate for them and truly be there for them because when one hurts we all hurt. We were also outside uh, the Tornillo Campan where they were holding minors, over 3,000 of them and that experience was truly heartbreaking. As a single mother of one I can only share that I can't imagine for a blink of an eye, a second, what that would be like. So Council of Social Justice, ICNA, is doing a tremendous amount of work uh, on the ground, uh, providing assistance. I was there as an interpreter. Um, I speak Spanish, and uh, we are really all over trying to help our fellow Americans. CSJ has done an uh, amazing job in the last few years, and we expect that CSJ will continue to be the voice of the oppressed, voice of the peop uh, people who are uh, underprivileged and they will fight for their rights under the banner of CSJ. Our team in Washington DC has uh, established an office uh, under the name of uh, uh, Islamic Circle of North America Council for Social Justice. So uh, we invite you to be part of this team. Uh, we are working on a number of projects and campaigns uh, to represent Muslims and non-Muslims uh, at the same time. Uh, the, the recent campaigns about uh, uh, school bullying, uh, about immigration, uh, a number of services that we have provided to the community, and alhamdulillah, has been very well accepted.